in this session we will we shall discuss uh, the design of uh, rc coupled common meter amplifier for uh, lab practice on that particular experiment rc coupled common emitter amplifier very specifically for the lab practice of this particular experiment so the circuit diagram is like this Here uh, we have uh, five resistors and uh, three capacitors. Here, this is the input signal that is to be amplified by this amplifier. We shall call it V in. Uh, let it be somewhat 100 milli volt because low signal amplifier. And the output taken from here we call it V O from here with respect to this earth. And the output load resistance is RC, coupling capacitors are CC2 and CC1, both are of same value. This is bypass capacitor and these two, R1 and R2 are potential divider network. RC is collector resistance and RE is emitter resistance. The use of this R, R1 and R2 together uh, make this transistor work in active region. Emitter junction forward biased and collector junction reverse biased. The voltage for this and this is derived from this power supply where a cell is connected or a power from power supply positive terminal is connected here and negative, connect, negative terminal is connected to earth. So that is plus VCC. And uh, this will bypass uh, this resistance. Here first we should have certain objective for the design and practice on this particular experiment. Our objective is this. The gain AV should be 50. Voltage gain should be 50 and uh, approximately the VO output peak to peak voltage is 10 volt. Let that be. We can have different uh, objectives. Let this be the objective. So gain should be 50. So first thing is to select the discrete uh, active device transistor. You know required volt, uh, AV voltage gain is 50. So the transistor when you select the HFE of that transistor should have at least of that, that gain. So HFE of this transistor should be at least that 50. So we shall select one transistor, NPR transistor and low amplifier, low signal amplifier. For that purpose we shall take BC107. There are a large number of transistors. So BC107 can be selected for this particular application because its HFE from your data, from the data sheet when you verify you will find it out like this. A, a HFE is 100, minimum 100, maximum maybe 400 or 500, but it specified that at the rate of IC is equal to 2 milliampere. So at 2 milliampere that HFE is guaranteed. So that is an important data for us to design this circuit. First we shall decide the, the design and get the value for RC, then uh, RE. Then we will take R1, R2. To design the major uh, equation we use is Ohm's law, simple Ohm's law. Resistance is voltage by current. So first RC. How to find RC? RC is equal to VRC, voltage across RC divided by IC. Because IC is flowing through the transistor IC. So VRC by IC. So RC is equal to VRC by uh, IC. Similarly RE is V R E by I is I E. So first we shall write R C. So before this, see we know the value for I C. I C is taken as 2 milliampere because H F is guaranteed at that current. That's why first we assume the I C is equal to 2 milliampere. So I C is 2 milliampere. So we got this value. But what about R C? R C we don't know. So we have to assume, we have to 
let some voltage across this based on certain uh, decisions we know this is an amplifier it should function in active region and this is class a amplifier because it is a signal amplifier not a power amplifier as for a signal amplification it should function in class a mode and uh, that means in that uh, load character 6 load gain load uh, line the q point that q sin point should be uh, in the middle that is preferable for class amplifier for reasons as we refer from the theory so that that means this potential that potential in the sense with respect to this earth the the voltage you get from here because this is bypassed and this dc is for certain purpose that we will discuss why re is here and this is bypassed so actually this 50% of that voltage we assume here because since this is present for this dc bias some voltage will be definitely de de developed across this so we will assume 10% we assume across this 10% we will assume across this and uh, uh, 50 we will assume here because 50 we need 50 percent of vcc 10 percent of vcc across re 50 percent of vcc across vce and uh, remaining 40 percent should be across rc so here vrc is 40 percent of vcc by ic what is 40 percent of vcc that is 40% of this voltage. What is that voltage? So we have to again decide upon this voltage. What should be that voltage? It is selected as because we expect we need this voltage. Voltage at the output peak to peak is 10 volt. So plus 20% we assume because we assume at 10% here across RE because that is actually going to be lost. This is actually not required. That's why we bypass it. But we need it here for certain for stability for stability of the circuit. How this is uh, giving the stability for the circuit? We learn from the theory. So 10% we assume here. So in both the positive and negative excursions, we lose 10% of that VCC. So 20% extra we consider here. So the output voltage required is peak to peak 10 voltage. So 20% that is 10% 10% in both positive and negative. So 20% the extra we consider. So 10% 10 volt plus 20% of this. So that is 12 volt as VCC. So 12 volt we have assumed here because we need 10 volt uh, volt output swing. So now this 40% VCC is uh, nothing but 4.8 volt, 12 voltage into 0.4. So IC is nothing but 2 milliampere because we assume IC is 2 milliampere because HFE is guaranteed at that. So 2 milliampere. So now the resistance is. 2.4 k we know there is no resistor available with this way of this value for 2.4 k so we will take 2.2 k or 2.7 k standard so that we will keep it here rc is 2 percent so we decided we design uh, rc now what is remaining is re it's simple again we know the re is re is vre by ie what is VRE? VRE is 10 percent VCC. It is 1.2 volt. What is IE? For a transistor, we can assume IE and IC are same because IB is very, very meager, very small value. So IE is actually the sum of collector current and base current. So if you consider that is very negligible, base current is very negligible, IE and IC are almost same. So here again we can take IC, IC, IC is nothing but 2 milliampere. So we get 6, 10 ohms. Here again, there is no standard value available of this value. 610 ohms is not available. So we take 680 ohms here, 680 ohms here, 680 ohms here. So second resistance also designed. Now what is what are remaining are these three? So R1 and R2 are voltage divider uh, network. Uh, what it does is voltage across this and voltage across this derived from this voltage source decides this transfer should be in active region. So emitter junction should be forward biased and collector junction should be reverse biased. Forward biased means here at least should have for, uh, 0.6 volt and 0.5 voltage we should take it 0.6 volt across this and this you know across this uh, 1.2 volt. So across this you know 1.8 volt is available V R2. So we can calculate the value for R2 is V R2 by this current. What is that current? 
Let it be I R2. Current through the resistance. Simple Ohm's law. Voltage divided by current through that. So first the V R2 we calculate this nothing but 0.6 plus 1.2. This 1.8 volt. Simple. What about I R2? So for finding this again we have to assume certain value because we design the circuit to get certain current through that. For obtaining that current we are deciding it. So first we have to have some idea in our mind what should be the current through this. So the idea is this. If this is IB, IB flowing into the transistor from this voltage divided network derived again from this biasing. So this current is assumed to be many times of IB. We assume 10 IB. You can take 15 IB, 20 IB, 30, but somewhat nominal. As a thumb rule, we take 10 times of base current. This is for, you know, when uh, from the theory we learned that this current compared to this current, this will be very high. Otherwise, it will affect the stability of the, versus, versus, uh, the potential divide of the network. Because if, in case if this varies, this will be immediately affected and the potential across this will change drastically. That will affect the stability of the biasing. Here 10 IB, so IB is nothing but uh, this IB, 10 IB flowing through. So 10 IB is flowing through this, 1 IB is going there, this will be 9 IB. So 9 IB, 9 IB. What is IB? IB can be obtained like this. IB is nothing but where IB is equal to IC by HFE. IC by HFE. We shall put it here 1.8 volt. We, we know IC is 2 milliampere and HFE is 100. So that is about 20 microampere again. 20 microampere. We put it here. 9 into 20 microampere. So we get approximately R2 about uh, R2 nearly some value you calculate and we will take it standard value 10k standard. We get 10k standard. So we keep it here. 10k standard. Then what is remain R1 in this branch? R1 is again R1 again using Ohm's law. R1 is V R1 by current through that 10 IB. V what is V R1? Total is 12 volt. This is 1.8 volt. So remaining 12 minus 1.2. That is 10.8. Uh, 10.2 10 volt. 10.2 volt divided by 10 IB. 10 IB. Uh, 10 10 IB. 10 into IB is 20 micron. So that is our cloud to be about some value near to 47k because we select, we get some value and uh, that is near to some 47k because maybe some value but we take a standard value 47k. Now we design these four resistances and what is remaining is RL. We shall see that also RL. This is 47k. We shall write it here 47k. Okay. Now RL. What is RL? For this, you know the gain AB, AB is minus, uh, minus uh, RC parallel uh, RE, RC parallel, I shall use another term, small RC by RE. This is approximate equation for a small signal, chronometer, uh, transistor amplifier. As well. Where RC is, RC can be, you know, in a small signal analysis of this circuit, you will get a H parameter equivalent circuit, you will find R1 and R2 parallel, RC and R1 parallel. So RC is nothing but R, actual RC parallel with RL. So RL, you will get this. And RE, RE is, since this is bypassed, only internal emitter resistance RE is considered. So that RE is nothing but the temperature equivalent voltage 25 millivolt. You know T by 11,600 we calculate for diode as well as for transistor that is 25 milliampere temperature equivalent voltage by IE. Uh, this is IE you know IC and IE same we found approximately 12.5 ohms. So this is RE. So RE uh, and this RC and this RE parallel and from this putting uh, substituting this expression uh, this expression RC is RC parallel RL and uh, 50 equated with the 50 and from these three we can get RL RL somewhat in the range of 820 ohms 
you will get that value. So, I will put here 1k or 820 ohms. This will obtain from this gain equation and uh, this uh, equation and uh, this R. So, you will get that. So, all the resistances have been designed. Now, what are remaining is the three resistance particularly CC1 and CC2 of same value. How we calculate the CC? CC2, we will see that. CC1 and CC2. First, the idea behind this coupling capacitor is as we know, it is to block DC from input as well as DC from going into this. So, it blocks DC as well here also this DC is getting blocked to going output and the DC is connected with this. So, both side DC is blocked and moreover it is giving a clamping effect of the input signal that will be learned in the theory. Now, moreover this capacitance and the internal the input resistance uh, what you say Ri something like small Ri maybe parallel combination of R1, R2 and 1 plus HFE Ri. This resistance, input resistance Ri is nothing but R1 parallel with R2. We get this from the hybrid parameter equivalent circuit of the transistor connected with this biasing R1 parallel with R2 parallel with 1 plus HFE Ri. This we have to calculate R1 we have, R2 we have and HFE is 100 and this RE is 12, 12. this uh, it will be approximately 1.1.1k. We can calculate and we find, we find it out. RE is equal to 1. That is the input resistance. This input resistance of the transistor amplifier with this CC1 functions as a low pass filter. Low pass filter permits uh, all frequencies above a certain minimum frequency. Let us assume the minimum frequency expected to be amplified this amplifier is 100, 100 hertz. F minimum. And uh, now the equation relating this, uh, this coupling capacitor and in the input resistance is this. Uh, F minimum is 1 by 2 pi uh, R i R i uh, C C 1 this equation. So just uh, substitute all these values uh, 2 pi R i is obtained 1.1 k and CC1. CC1 you can obtain by, by substitute F minimum in the denominator, you will get the CC1. That CC1 you will find it out approximately 1 microfarad. Nearly 1 microfarad, a standard value you can put it there. And the same capacitor you can put it here also, 1 microfarad here. Or 1 to 10 microfarad does not make any difference, no much difference. Though uh, it all will not function accurately because that kind of uh, uh, changes are uh, because the input to frequency f minimum slightly will vary with this variation from 1 microfarad to 10 microfarad. And the uh, last capacitance C. C bypasses this resistance. In order to bypass this resistance, its impedance should be less. So then again, as a thumb rule, we take this impedance XCE, XCE much less than RE. Re. So, as a thumb rule, we take Xe is uh, Re by 10, a, 10, a factor of 10. It can be 15 or 20, no problem, but we take as a rule of thumb, this Xe impedance is uh, 1 tenth of a metal resistance. Again, equate the frequency because even the loss of frequency, because high frequency it will be anyway bypassing through, loss of, loss of frequency that should be bypassed is again the same 100. Uh, hertz. Low of frequency should by low, low frequency that is 10, 100 uh, hertz uh, the uh, CE should bypass RE. That is why we consider low frequency not high frequency because any frequency above that uh, 100 hertz will be uh, bypassed by this capacitor. So again equate this you will find XE. XE is nothing but uh, uh, 1 by 2 pi FCE FCE is equal to that XE should be RE by 10. RE we obtained it is 680. So, this should be equated to 68 because 680 by 10, 68. Then same uh, F is equal to 100 hertz. So, CE you can obtain uh, some value uh, about the standard value of uh, 22 microfarad it comes. So, with this the design aspect is over all the resistances, all the capacitance we design for this objective, this aim. And the rest of the thing is, uh, different uh, questions uh, usually asked for examination, uh, different biology questions and uh, transfer characters etc. That we will discuss in other session.